YouTube. What up, man? It's your boy Street Tate. I'm back. I know it's been like six months. My last video was an Olive 9 versus an Olive 13 video, man. If y'all follow me on Snapchat, you already know where I've been at and what I've been doing. Those of you that don't, I am in the military, Air Force to be exact, and I've been deployed the last six months, man. So I've been overseas. But I'm back, so I'm back to give you guys the comparison and the collection style builds that you guys are used to, man. I stay in my lane, this is what I do, because y'all know I have a whole bunch of older shoes, man. And as y'all see, Jordan Brand's coming right back full circle, coming out with the same shit over and over and over again. Y'all still buying it, so am I. So, hey man, listen, insert Jordan Brand coming out with the same shit, insert my channel, and there's the content that I'm bringing you guys, man, helping you guys out. If you'd rather cop us on store shelves right now, or just wait and cop the last time that shoe retro because of maybe quality or maybe materials. Who knows, man? Y'all just let me know if I've ever helped you out copping a shoe because of my comparison videos, man. Old versus new, man. So listen, I'm back, right? So follow me on Instagram and Snap, and y'all really want to now because I have a whole bunch of shoes coming up for sale. Well over 20 plus pairs, you know what I'm saying? Y'all want to miss out because those shoes are up on StockX, they're up on eBay, and on my website, streettate.bigcartel.com. Those links will be down below. I have a lot of shit for sale, updating it every day on the website, adding new shit to it, man. So y'all don't want to sleep because shit's selling every single day. So I can't guarantee if there's a shoe that you guys want, it's still going to be there. So my prices is always free shipping, always priority, and my prices are always fair. You know what I'm saying? So listen, man, there's shit up for sale. Y'all don't want to sleep, man. Y'all know I have a lot of good shit, man. So don't sleep. Shit selling every day. Shit. Shit probably sold as you're watching this video, man. So listen. I appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe if you new. And definitely follow me on the gram and snap. I will be doing an IGTV video showing the viz that upcoming comparison videos, man. So y'all stay tuned for that. And follow me on the gram so y'all can check all that type of shit out, man. <laughs> y'all don't want to miss it, dog. No question. So let's go ahead and get started, man. The first comparison video after my long six-month hiatus. This is the comparison of your 2008 2011 2018 black cement threes this is a very iconic shoe a lot of people's grails tinker hatfield's first shoe he made for jordan brand well it was nike back at that time so this shoe is extremely dope one of my top five favorite jordans no question now there are a lot of black cement threes out there all right in the last 30 years, there have been six releases of this shoe, okay? 1988, 1994, 2001, 2008, 2011, 2018. There have been six releases of this shoe. So there is no excuse for any of you guys not to have at least one of these Black Cement 3 releases, you know what I'm saying? So I have half of the six of the releases, you know what I'm saying? Now, I do recommend that you do not go back in the past and cop anything past a 2008 Countdown Pack pair because they will not be wearable. They won't, unless they've been soul swapped, you know what I'm saying? Because this 2008 pair, let's talk real quick. This, this 08 pair, I'm sure I have some B-roll for you guys. This shit's cracking really bad. I wear these a lot, right? These joints are cracking like crazy. Air bubble looking straight suspect. You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling you, one day I'm going to be walking around and these joints are going to crumble under my feet and I'm going to be looking crazy out here. You know what I'm saying? But hey, that's what shoes do. They get older. This 08 pair is 10 years old, man. So hey, man, listen, shoes don't last forever. So um, I do recommend you wear your shoes. Uh, I do sound somewhat like a hypocrite because I have a lot of shoes that I haven't worn. But listen, man, I have a whole lot of shoes and a whole lot of older ones, man. So listen, this Countdown Pack pair came out in 2008. It came out in a pack. In, in 08 was the 23rd anniversary year of when Jordan Brand first came out with Jordan Sneakers. So they came out with Countdown Packs to pay homage to the 23 years matching the number 23 on Jordan's jersey, right? So it came out with packs. Each pack had two shoes. The retail on all the packs were $310. They all had to equal the number 23. So this is the Jordan 3. The other shoe that came with it was the Jordan 20, which equals 23, 20 plus three, you know, 23. So that is your countdown pack release. Fast forward to 2011, Black Friday. Uh, this shoe came out your black cement uh, 2011 pair with the, of course, the uh, Jumpman on the back. 
uh, it did sit around for a little while back in 2011 uh, but very very dope shoe it did eventually sell out but it did you know take a little bit for them to sell out and fast forward seven years later and we have your 2018 release with the Nike Air on the back to pay homage to the original uh, you know shoe that had Nike Air when they first came out right very very dope shoe um, not really any complaints about it it is a good looking good feeling good quality shoe uh, we will get into the detail part on the comparison part of the video man so y'all know how I do it man I'm gonna cut over to the table we're gonna compare these joints and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna finish out the video man I appreciate y'all watching subscribe if you knew <laughs> Let's cut to the table, man. I'm back, man. Comparison time, man. Fuck what y'all talking about. <laughs> and the boxes, of course, in 2008, came in your countdown pack box. Two pair of shoes. They equaled the number 23. Retail was $310. Cut that in half for two pair of shoes. That's $155 per shoe. Over 2011, retail price was $160. In 2018, retail price was $200. Now, style code color code is different on all three versions. In 2018, it's 854262001. 2011, it's 136064010. Black varsity red cement gray. It says on the label here in 2011. 2018, it said black fire red cement gray. As far as the OG style boxes for 2011 and 2018, they are very similar except the label placement. The box label is on the lid of 2011 and in 2018 is on the bottom of the box there in 2018 now as far as all three shoes y'all see they all look very very similar very 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 close match shoes uh 2008 and 2018 are more of a match than the 2011 pair if you go in on 2011 you can see that it is a glossy style leather there as y'all can see a uh, very very gloss uh, shine there on the leather on the 08 version and 2018 version it is a more of a matte on the leather than it is a shiny gloss now as far as the elephant print we can't really nitpick that because of course they are different on every Jordan 3 as far as the elephant print design but the depth of the print is what is different as you can see it's very very deep on 08 and it's not as you know uh, depth and dug in there for your 2011 and 2018 now as the height of the toe box elephant print placement so you have your midsole to the top of the toe it's not as tall as it is on your 2018 pair as you can see there same goes for the 2008 it also has a pretty tall uh, placement from midsole to the top of the toe there on 2008 now as far as the tongues they all do pretty much have the same color as far as the gray uh, leather there goes. And we go to the breathable perforation holes on 2008. As you can see, it's a whole lot of them there. Go down to 2011. It's not as many perforation holes on the tongue, you can see. And 2018, the holes diameter is bigger and they're spaced out a lot more on 2018. Now, as far as the lace eyelets, they are all the same on all three pairs. They all have that red with the black matte lace eyelets with the gray one that tops it off there next to the tongue. It's the same on all three versions. All three have the same shoelaces, same lace tips, same jump man positioning, except on 08, there is a butt crack, you can see. 2011 there's also a butt crack as y'all can see 2018 there is no butt crack it is all one smooth uh, bodied jump man and they all have that red that peaks on the top of every tongue there as you can see and here's the size of all three shoes bottom 08 middle 2011 top 2018 starting with 2011 you can see that it has that matte finish on the leather with a matte finish on the midsole for the paint there going on the back with a fogged up air bubble go up 2011 it also has a shiny uh, paint finish on the midsole with a starting to fog up air bubble there with your shiny finish on the leather 
Wow 2018 more of a matte finish on the leather with a more of a matte paint on the back of the midsole with of course a clear air bubble because it is a brand new shoe. Now as far as the elephant print, the print color is dark gray on 2018 as y'all can see right there. It's a dark gray. While on 2011 and 08 it's black elephant print. I'm talking about the depth cutouts as y'all can see. So we had gray 2018, dark gray, and a black uh, there on 2011. Y'all can see side by side really well right there. Same for 08, has that black elephant print cutouts. I'm not quite sure why it's dark gray on 2018. For the shape of all three, it is the same. Midsole height, midsole shape, all that, it is exactly the same. Very, very similar, very, very nice looking shoes. And here are the inner sides of all three shoes from the up to right 08, 2011 in the middle, 18 there on the top. Not too much here to talk about uh, that is pretty much the same as the outside of the shoe. But something that I will mention is the stitching here. So the stitching on 2018 here going from uh, the lace eyelet gray right here. And on 2018 y'all can see it's very, very noticeable, very, very in-depth stitch there going from the lace eyelet uh, gray area down to the elephant print. Y'all can see the stitching there, here, and here on 2018. Now look at 2008. See how it is not as creased in uh, as it is on the other two versions. Let's back up here so y'all can see really well there. Okay, so 2018, 2011, 2008, that little stitching there, it is still there. It's just not as defined and creased in as the other versions. And of course my 08 pair is cracking very, very bad and it's going to fall apart any given second, but it's cool. I'm going to just look crazy out here. And here the back of all three shoes, left to right 08, 11 in the middle, 18 far right, obviously. Far the biggest difference of course is Nike Air on 2018. They want to bring back that OG feel. Very, very nice looking Nike Air on the back, the back tab there. Of course, on the 2011 and 08, your standard Jumpman Air on the back. I guess there's not too much else to talk about on the back tabs here. Maybe the height of the elephant print there on the 2011 in the middle, as y'all can see, is a little bit taller, going from midsole to the top of the elephant print, as far as the height there. And of course, the color again is black on 2011, while it's dark gray elephant print on your 2018 version. Same for 08 is your black uh, cutouts there on your elephant print. Now I go to the back of the tongue. Y'all can see that the size tag is on the back of the tongue on your 11 and 2018 version. While it is on the interior uh, of the shoe on 2008 version, y'all can see right there. Now as far as going to the insoles here, we have red insoles on 08 and 2018. Of course, we have your Nike Air, uh, black Nike Air on the insole on your 18, your gray insole, red jump man on 2011, and of course, your uh, countdown pack patch on 2008 version that is the Roman Luna 23, that's the 1985, uh, 2008 there on the countdown pack patch. As far as the ankle thickness, it's pretty much the same on all three versions. I'll have the same type of padding there on the ankles. Same for the tongue thickness, it's pretty much the same on all three tongues. But of course the only differences really is the shades of the gray, shades of the red. Just very, very minor differences overall as far as coloring goes. And the bottoms of all three, same bottom design, same color placement. Just a minor difference of the red color shading and the gray color shading. In 08, 2011 they both had Jordan on the bottom. In 2018, it has your Nike staying true to its OG form. All three have stars going toward the top of the soles there. Stars. And my 2011 and 18 pair are still DS unworn while I wear the hell out of my 08 pair. Despite the fact them joints is about to crumble on me. Alright YouTube, welcome back man. You already know what's next. Which one you rocking? 08, 2011, 2018. Y'all let me know down in the comments, man, which year you rocking with. Let me know if you have any of the older years. Let me know if this video helped you out in any way, shape, form, or fashion down in the comments, man. You know, I appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe if you new. 
definitely follow me on the gram and snap because I will be posting shit for sale. Y'all don't want to miss out, man. Don't sleep. Links will be down in the description, man. So y'all let me know if y'all care about having Nike Air on the back of y'all shoes. Let me know about that as well. My next video will be the White Cement 3 video that's just like this one. If the link pops up right here, then it is made. Y'all go ahead and watch it. If the link didn't pop up yet, then that means I haven't published it yet, man. But that will be my next video. I'm hitting you guys with back-to-back -back vids because I've been gone for so long. Because y'all know normally I do once a week videos to stay fresh on y'all's timeline so y'all don't get tired of me. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want y'all getting tired of me saying, oh, this nigga again. You know what I'm saying? So I want to stay fresh on y'all's timeline once a week vids but I am hitting y'all with that back to back videos this weekend black cement 3 and white cement 3 videos man so listen I'm back I appreciate y'all watching leave all y'all comments below follow me on social media shit for sale and I will be doing an IGTV video showing upcoming videos man so y'all don't want to miss out on that as well y'all comment on there as well man listen <laughs> I'll see y'all in the white cement 3 video alright y'all know my slogan you can't just say you real it's something you gotta be. All right, YouTube. This video is a comparison of your 2012 release Jordan 9 Olives versus your January 20th, 2018 released Jordan 13 Olives. This is permanent. I put a panic in traffic like Pablo Escobar. I adapted, immaculate, I'm going to scrap again. Yeah.